Scissorboy.com. Hey, it's Andriana, and I am very lucky. I'll tell you why. Because I am in San Marias in central London, and I'm joined by Sharon and Leonardo. Now, I'll tell you what, creation of all creations. It certainly is. Tell us about this, Sharon. Well, um, what we're doing here is we're working. Um, we did a show recently at the Royal Albert Hall. Oh, lovely. Um, and the idea is that we're working on a creation called Masquerade. Okay. So the idea is we're masking the face, but we're building sort of an anti-head shape using lots of multi-textures and fibres made out of artificial hair, some natural hair that we collect, uh -huh. um, and we build it to create a shape. Right, OK. So how did you go about creating this one from start to finish? Just take us through the steps. Well, I think the most important thing when you're doing anything artistically you know, when we choose the model, we do a lovely casting and mm -hmm. we look not only at body because of clothes, we work yeah. with a stylist, but we look at the face. So the fundament is to look at what the face needs to expose the features. And so for Kristen's face here, you know, you can see we've got beautiful high cheekbones. So we want to create this cascade of volume, but with width and dimension, but not too much width because we want to really emphasize her cheekbones. Right. So it's all about suitability. You know, you can't just put a hat on mm -hmm. because it'll look look really artificial so editorially for something to work it's got to really come from an extension of one's face and then it works a hundred percent right so you very much take into consideration the whole entire person absolutely and, each of their features. and also the total look that we're going for so we've you know we sit with designers we sit with makeup artists we sit and monitor what we want to produce on a show um, so from head to toe the, the dimensions is there from clothes to makeup to this masquerade concept of not seeing you know and almost underneath being very beautiful for her and that's what we're exposing right okay so what was the actual inspiration for this Leonardo what, well where did it start our inspiration for this is really um, from the sort of masquerade ball mm -hmm. theme but with our own modern twist on it right. using these sort of fabric uh, hair pieces um, to create this sort of illusion and working as, as a, um, a visual masquerade um, with this hair to create an illusion of a fantasy look. So this is um, backstage hot gossip you're seeing now. <laughs> Never seen before. <laughs> yeah. For me it's all about um, you know, building this shape but not overpowering it mm. a little bit and then very nicely because I want to masquerade the face I want to just use some of the hair by bringing it over her face, but not, you know, not covering her beauty up. So that it's just tendrils. You know, this is very on vogue at the moment. Just very much tendrils of hair coming through, masquerading that nice natural beauty Beautiful. underneath. Really so um, yeah. I think maybe what I might do is just see what it looks like in a moment once she's dressed and I can then see that total sort of finish. I just finish with a little bit of spray and just see when I turn her around, you know, what actually works as a shape and then I'll just fill in these areas. Once she's dressed properly, then I'll just go back in and finish this area because we've got a lot of dressing to do. Great. That's great. Reminds me of the whole Mozart. Yeah, yeah, very Mozart. Yes, definitely. Yeah, exactly. very yeah, yeah, much. Yeah. Well, it's a just that classical classic. theme, you know, yeah. the masquerade ball, yeah. the very classical Renaissance sort of uh, mm. characters, but then bring our own modern theme onto yeah, that. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Lovely. Okay, now another creation, Leonardo. Another Amazing. creation Amazing. from yeah. the Sarits catalogue okay. of creative looks. This is one we devised 
um, earlier this year, but we've been experimenting with it and uh, expanding it and working with different um, ideas to create this visual mask mm -hmm. using hair. And this here, we've created the shape, cutting in this very um, geometric but uneven fringe and keeping a lot of this length, very, very vibrant red, red hair. And we're just surrounding the face with that. Now, what I want to do is cover the face completely using a net stocking. Okay. And then cut that open to create the visual mask and bringing the hair through it to create a different effect. Sounds scary at first, the stocking over the face. But then you're cutting it open, so it's all right. <laughs> a red so, one as well. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> Good job. One for my, uh, my evenings out. <laughs> anyway, enough said. <laughs> Let's go back to the hair. Yeah. Bit of a tight fit. Okay. We have the best model. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I mean, that's a very striking look there. Mm, very Quite nice. scary, though, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, that whole talking thing. Yeah. But um, nice. now we can really just, by looking at the shape, what I want to do is just very, very carefully cut away at the stocking and expose the face underneath. And again, like we've been saying, exposing the natural beauty. Mm -hmm. And then with that, the hair as well. Very, very avant-garde sort of look that we're yeah, working with. Brilliant. Not everyone's cup of tea, but this is this is what we do. It's a little bit out there, but it's always good to be one step ahead, I suppose. Exactly. So do you really enjoy this is this is your favourite type of work? You really enjoy setting the trends like this and just really sort of surprising or maybe shocking people? It does shock people sometimes. Yeah, I I, I enjoy um, good thing. yeah I enjoy this sort of work because uh, it's it's really what pleases me. It's what I feel. You know what I see. Um, what can start off as a small idea, you work with it and you play with it, mm -hmm. um, and then you really look at the whole image. But again, what some people find shocking, and other people find exciting. So where do your inspirations come from? How would an idea strike you? It can come anywhere. Yeah. Walking down the street, it can come from you know magazines. It can come in uh, the form of um, architecture. Mm. I, I get inspiration from lots of different places. Yeah. Music, you know, mm. it, it's all around. I think you have to have your eyes open mm. first. Yeah. And um, a lot of people think, oh, where am I going to find inspiration from? And like we've talked about our masquerade collection. Sharon and I sat down with the rest of the artistic team and we said, okay, what do we want to show for this masquerade? We want to feel, what is masquerade, the meaning of it first? Yeah. And then how do we develop that idea from the classic to what our own interpretation is? And then building on that to really create what we see as our 2010-2011 masquerade avant-garde collection. Amazing haircut and colour. Mm -hmm. So tell us about this and uh, inspiration and uh, what's going on here. Can you tell us your thing. This is um, one of the theme of the masquerade haircut. Okay. And I'm working with rounded fringe loops and asymmetric open up more through one side mm -hmm. and created really strong, beautiful square lines with the other side and um, graduated shapes with You know, Leah's position within our company, she runs um, our school, so on an everyday basis she's training people within these haircuts, mm. so um, all of the Sanrit's look is like she said, you know, we've got the precision on the line, it gives a strong dimensional look, but with a very feminine edge. Yeah. I work two days a week in a salon as mm. well as teach, but yeah. one of the things that I say to clients, you know, we have a thing where we cut half of the hair first, so we create the haircut by half. Mm -hmm. And because we've studied the face shape and the bone structure, you'll cut somebody's hair and then they'll go, my God, I look so young, I look yeah, so different. Yeah. You know, and we save them a fortune because you can really change somebody's face and make them look 10 years younger, make them look slimmer. And when you see them leave in the salon with a, you know, a real step of mm. self-confidence, it, oh, it's fantastic. So it's lovely. Mm. And then when they come and they say, you know, I want the same again, then you think, <laughs> oh, I've got to come up with the goods now. Right, yeah. Up my game. <laughs> Well, thank you, 
you ladies, it's been a ball. I've had a great time and thanks to everyone here at San Ritz in, uh, in London. Now, the thing I have to ask you right now is, are you ready? Absolutely. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Snip, snip.